Hey everybody, so I haven't done a hockey card video in quite a while, um, just had other videos to do and other things to talk about, but figured what better day than today to just go back, do another hockey card video, I got a fresh pack here, never been opened, um, I have no idea what's in it, and uh, we're just going to open this up and see what's inside. I These packs usually have some pretty cool cards in them and some really good players so uh, I'm excited to see what's in this. Uh, before we get started I just want to say if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel please hit that subscribe button. Um, as long as you're a fan of hockey and a fan of the NHL there are videos here for you that you will enjoy so uh, please subscribe and follow the channel. So we have um, 1990 score premier edition here NHL cards 15 in this deck um, I again never been opened I'm opening it for the first time right now so I have no idea what's in this we'll just have to wait and see so here we go opening now I try not to destroy the pack so that I can put the cards back in when I'm done just easier than having a bunch of loose cards everywhere so here we go, if they'll come out. Come on, there we go. Wow, off to a absolutely fantastic start. Um, Adam Oates, St. Louis Blues, um, one of the best playmakers and passers in NHL history. Um, this guy could dish the puck like like you wouldn't believe. Um, he was an absolute assist machine and um, incredibly good player throughout the league. Didn't have as great of a time coaching the Washington Capitals. Uh, that didn't go so well. But as a player, Adam Oates was absolutely awesome and just an incredible, incredible playmaker. Uh, yeah, so this 80... 80, 89 90 with the St. Louis Blues. He played 80 games. He had 23 goals and 79 assists for 102 points. And um, his NHL totals to that point in 326 career games, he had 224 assists. So he was obviously a big time passer and assist guy and uh, just an absolutely incredible player. Oh man, it keeps getting better and better. What a what a pack so far. Mark Messier, Edmonton Oilers. This is obviously after Gretzky was traded to LA. So this was Mark Messier's Oilers team. He was the captain. He was the leader there. Um, obviously one of the best players in NHL history. Um, just incredible player. Um, and let's see. The 89-90 with Edmonton, he played 79 games. He had 45 goals, 84 assists for 129 points, and also 79 penalty minutes. He was a pretty tough guy, too. Um, he could handle himself physically. So, just, I mean, it's Mark Messier. There's, there's nothing else you can really say about this. One of the best in NHL history. He's fantastic. Next up, we have Rob Brown from Pittsburgh, uh, winger for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Um, he he was a he was a good player. He wasn't. He's obviously not on the level of Oates and Messier, but Rob Brown was a pretty good player. Um, it's eighty nine ninety with Pittsburgh. He played eighty games. He had thirty three goals and forty seven assists for eighty points, and also a hundred and two penalty minutes. So. He was a 100 penalty minute guy while also having 80 points. Obviously, that was a lot more common back then than it is now. You barely have anyone even getting to 100 penalty minutes these days. Um, back then, you know, it was pretty easy to do. Also, scoring was higher in the 80s and 90s than it is now. So 80 points is, you know, back then is probably like having like a 50 point season this, this you know, in this era. But, um... You know, his first up to this point in his career, Rob Brown had played 199 career games. He had 239 points in those games, so he was over a point per game player to this point in his career. I'm not sure how 
you know, what happened after this, how his career progressed. He's not, you know, an, a well-known player that, you know, everybody knows. But uh, he was a pretty good player. And, and um, you know, we obviously got off to a very good start in his career. Wow. Here we go. The the big names just keep on coming. Patrick Waugh. Now, I have a bunch of Patrick Waugh cards from all different... From him in the Avalanche, him with Montreal. Obviously, this is him with Montreal. Um, you know, again, somebody that there's really not much to say about. Um, he's certainly one of the top two goaltenders of all time. If you want, you know, it's really between him and Brodeur, whoever you think is the greatest of all time. Um, but nonetheless, he was an absolute... Incredi absolutely incredible goaltender. Um, yeah, 89-90 with Montreal. He played 54 games. He had a goals against average of 2.53. Now again, nowadays 2.53 is pretty average, but scoring was way higher back in 1990 than it is now. So 2.53 back then is was you know incredibly incredibly good. Um, you know, that'd be like nowadays having like a 2.15 goals against or even like a 2.1, something like that. That's uh, really, really good. He also had 30 wins that season, 31 actually, but he eclipsed the 31, the 30 win mark. Um, he went 31, 16, and 5. And uh, obviously he is a Hall of Famer and one of the best goaltenders to ever play hockey in the history of hockey. So great card there. Okay, now we've got someone that I really don't know. Okay, it's a prospect card from the Hartford Whalers, Terry Yake. I have never heard of him, so I'm I'm assuming his career. I mean, maybe it went okay, but um, he he never became a superstar or anything. Um, he was picked 81st overall in 1987. Um, he played in the AHL. Okay. Um, he was really, really good in the WHL. And uh, up to this point, he had played in the AHL. Then, and then partway through the 1989-90 season, he picked up his first NHL point. Um... And I guess he was, you know, he was a guy who what hadn't made the NHL on a regular basis to this point. So um, he he's someone I've never heard of, so I don't know what his career path was after this. But um, at this point, he's still just a prospect. Well, back to more superstar players here. We have Rob Blake of the Los Angeles Kings. Um, this is a prospect card as well. Now, I do know how Rob Blake's career turned out. He became an incredible defensive defenseman. Um, play, obviously played a lot of time with Los Angeles. Also played for the Colorado Avalanche. Um, he became one of just an incredibly good defensive defenseman. And, um, you know, to this point, he hadn't made it in the NHL yet. But... Uh, very, very good things happened down the line for Rob Blake, uh, including winning a Stanley Cup, and uh, just an incredible defenseman. And that 2001 Colorado Avalanche team that won the Cup was that got Ray Bork his Stanley Cup was one of my favorite teams. Of that, I, I really was a huge fan of that team. I loved the players: Rob Blake, Adam Foot on the back, and Joe Sakic's one of my all-time favorite players. Patrick Waugh in goal, um, Alex Tange, Chris Drury, Peter Forsberg. Just the names go on and on with that team. And I was very, very young watching them. Only like, you know, five, four, five years old. But uh, I loved that team and I was so happy that they won and I really loved a lot of the players on that team so and Rob Blake was one of them and he he was just an incredibly good player along with Adam Foote on, on you know anchoring their defense speaking of you know greatest goaltenders of all time 
Marty Brodeur, but this is a first round draft choice card, so he hadn't even played yet. He was drafted 20th overall in 1990, so this you know, that was a card from the 1990 season. He hadn't played yet. Um, obviously, we all know how his career turned out. He became one of the greatest goaltenders, if not the greatest goaltender in NHL history. Um, it's I really think it's between him and Patrick Waugh for who's the greatest of all time. And however you wanna, however you wanna d pick between those two, it's a, it, that's a personal choice. But um, Brodeur is incredible. Um, and you know went on to have one of the greatest goaltending careers in hockey history. So there's another great card there. That I wonder if this is actually like worth anything because this is, I mean, it does it's, it doesn't like say rookie card. It's I guess the, a version of a rookie card is a draft choice card. Well, I don't know how many of these were made or anything, but this is, I mean. For what he turned out to be, probably the greatest goaltender of all time. Um, I wonder if that's worth anything. All right, next up, another player that I do not know, John Druce. Um Yeah, uh, he's a winger. He played 45 games for the Capitals in 89-90. He had 11 points, 52 penalty minutes. Um, so I, I really don't know. Okay, he's a good body checker and considered strictly a defensive-oriented player. Okay, so um, obviously a defensive-minded forward here, and uh, not someone that I know, but um, cool card. Another one that I really don't know, Kerry Wilson, um, New York Rangers. Uh, he's a center. I don't know. I've never really heard of him. Um, he had 25 points in 40, 26 points in 41 games played in 57 penalty minutes in 89-90. Not really, don't know much about him, um, but another cool card here. Okay, another winger here that I don't really know. Um, tough name to say here, I Italian. Lou Francis Frances Franceschetti Shetty or something. I can't say it. Wow, Lou Franceschetti Francis Shetty. I would say. I guess it is. Toronto Maple Leafs right wing. He played 80 games, had 21 goals and 15 assists for 36 points and 127 penalty minutes. So he seems like a bottom six forward at that time. Um, So yeah, another cool card here. Not somebody that I really know much about though. Dana Merzen, another guy I really don't know. He's a defenseman for the Calgary Flames. Um, 78 games played, 7 goals, 13 assists for 20 points and 140 penalty minutes. So obviously a pretty tough guy. Yep, says his first line in his bio back here says playing his physical brand of defense. So defensive defenseman, um, not a superstar by any stretch of the imagination, but seemed like a decent player. And um, cool card there. Steve Chieson, uh, Detroit Red Wings defenseman. 67 games played, 14 goals, 28 assists for 42 points. So that's a pretty good point total for a defenseman and 114 penalty minutes. So um, again, not somebody that I know a ton about, not a huge name, but uh, seemed like a solid player at the time. Uh, Claude Lemieux. My, it's really between Claude Lemieux and Matt Cook for my most hated all-time NHL players. Um, I could not, I cannot stand Claude Lemieux. I think he's one of the dirtiest little rats in NHL history. Um, I mean, I just think he's an absolute piece of garbage on the ice. I mean, I don't know him off the ice, but on the ice, he was such a... I think he was a piece of trash. And uh, certainly one of the most hated players in NHL history. And I know I absolutely cannot stand him. Um, here he is with Montreal. Um... 
before he you know he played for multiple teams throughout his career but uh he was a canadian for a while and in 89 90 he played 39 games so i assume missed time with injury um he had eight goals 10 assists for 18 points in 106 penalty minutes and his career up to that point in 281 games he had 189 points in 576 penalty minutes so he was definitely not afraid to sit in the penalty box for a while. Um, hate Claude Lemieux. And now Steve Smith, uh, famous for putting the puck in his own net. Um, very, very good defenseman for the for the uh, Edmonton Oilers. It's a shame that he's really thought of as the guy who put the puck in his own net. Um, I believe he's an assistant coach in the NHL now. I'm not sure. I don't remember off the top of my head which team. But I believe he's an assistant coach, and um, you know it has been for a while in in the NHL. Um, with eight, in eighty nine ninety with the Oilers, he played seventy five games. Uh, he had seven goals, thirty four assists for forty one points, so pretty good point totals, and one hundred and seventy one penalty minutes. He was a he was a pretty good, uh, pretty good, um, t you know, tough guy too, and very good defensively. So. Um, you know, there's Steve Smith, pretty pretty well known player and very good player for the Edmonton Oilers. And lastly, the final card as this video goes over 15 minutes. This one's a little long, sorry guys. Rod Brendamore. Um, he went on to be a fantastic NHL player. This is him with the St. Louis Blues, who uh, certainly he's not known for being a blue. Um, you know, he, Rod Brendamore was like the ultimate, you know, he was very good offensively, also very tough when needed to be, hard-nosed player. He was an old-school hockey player. And, um, you know, in 89-90 with the Blues, he played 79 games. He had 26 goals and 35 assists for 61 points and also 46 penalty minutes. This is obviously early on in his career. Um, very early. That was actually 89-90 was his rookie season. So this is very early on in his career. Um, he went on to play, you know, for with the Flyers and for a long time, and was very very good with the Flyers. He also played for the Carolina Hurricanes, where I remember him with in Carolina at the end of his career. So um, you know, very very well respected player. Good all-around player, hard-nosed guy, old-school guy. Um, really a big fan of Rod Brendamore. So that's this pack. Obviously, some very, very good names in this. A few of guys that I really don't know, but you know, Patrick Waugh, Marty Brodeur, Rod Brendamore, um, Adam Oates, Mark Messier, Steve Smith. Some big-time names in this pack. So this is an awesome pack that I really enjoyed opening and sharing with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video as well. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media, check out offthewallhockey.com. All those links in the description below. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys soon. Season previews for all 31 teams are going to be starting soon. We're already in the middle of August. Um, so I don't, maybe next week or the week after, I will be starting season previews for all 31 teams. So uh, that's coming up. We're getting closer and closer to hockey season. I cannot wait for it to start. Um, and I'm sure you guys are thinking the same thing. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.